Hello everyone, in this video we want to take a look at Packet Reserve 5 for Terrain Configure Extended IP version 4 Access List Scenario 2, we have two objectives uh, here Configure Name Extended Access List and also Verify and ap Apply and Verify Access uh, List uh, Extended Access List And in our instructions you can see we should block HTTP and HTTPS access from PC1 to Server 1 and 2 Server 1 and 2 are inside the cloud here, you cannot see, you don't have any access to them. And also, block FTP mode and FTP protocol access from PC2, this one to Server 1 and 2, and also block ICMP from PC3 to Server 1 and 2. And also, we have only one rotor here, rotor RT1, you should go here on rotor RT1, and first, You should configure under configure terminal. You should write IP access list extended and only name. It should be, for example, ACL deny. This is only name. And under uh, this configuration, you can start to block and uh, deny traffic. First, deny PC1 to access. And what is the command to begin the configuration of extended access with the name ACL? Oh, I have written ACL denied. It's, it's, it's okay. We can write here ACL. This is this command. It should be. And begin, uh, begin the ACL configuration with a statement that denies access from PC1 to Server 1 and also to Server 2 in the next step okay um first you should deny this should be tcp because you can activate uh, this function under tcp transport you cannot uh, find any http here and first uh, you should write source ip address source ip address of PC1 is here. This is PC1 IP address. You can write here. And what car mass is 0, 0, 0, 0, 31 because it's uh, slash 27. And what car mass should be 0, 0, 0, 31. I have calculated in other um, assignments. You can refer to the other videos. And uh, also, you can write here host which host it should be host server one and oh what's happened here oh i can i should write it here Zero one two five five two five four and equivalent equal should be for example you can write here www or port number I can write port number because I also I should deny port 443 HTTPS as you know secure HTTP yes and what about other server 2 IP address deny TCP from this source to this destination it should be a slash 20 a slash a, yes yes 103 and from HTTP and also from HTTPS. Yes, we have written for command for uh, to block HTTP and HTTPS from PC1. And what about PC2? And also PC2. PC2 should be block FTTP. 
FTP. You cannot also find FTP here and under TCP. You can write. It's okay. I used this command here. What is the IP address of PC2? 172.31.1. This one. And same subnet desk. And same. And this is server 1 IP address. And equivalence. Equal should be FTP. You can write here 21 or FTP. Same. And also same process for access to server two. And what about PC three? And also PC three, we should um, block ICMP. Deny. You can find ICMP here. It's okay. Perfect. And what is the IP address of source source is pc3 and wildcard mask is same and host which host should be yes i don't need to add anything because it's echo echo reply on something like that and uh, you don't need it uh, based on instructions here and also same process for access to server 2 from PC 3 and if you write here do show access list you can see all of the command you write here but any problem we have permit all other traffic by default is very important by default an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rule in the list insert the command that permits all traffic that does not match any of the configure access list here if you are uh, if you don't write anything here if you don't add anything here it will be denied for all of the traffics here and you should write here permit IP any any that does not um, exist and does not exist in this list. Okay. Yes, it's very very important for for rest of um, devices for rest of protocols. It's okay and. Yeah, they can get permission for other protocols because for example on pc3 only we should block icmp what about ftp ftp is uh, get uh, can get permission or http can get permission from pc3 and what about pc2 pc2 only um, should be block uh, its ftp but what about um, http http is okay and verify that access list that you have configured you can write here again do show access oh excuse me show access list yes and also you can write here show run and pipe pipe it's like a filter to um, filter your command that only show you begin access list. It's very important. Only begin access is here. And you can also read uh, this uh, description about uh, pipe here. And second uh, step, configure terminal which interface should be activated activated for access list you should read this description here note 
the traffic uh, to be filtered is coming from 172.1.1.96/27 network and it's designed from remote networks. Appropriate ACL placement depends on the relationship of the traffic with respect to RT1. In general, in general, extend access list should be placed on the interface closest to the source of traffic, closest to the source of traffic. Which interface is closest to the source of traffic? This is over source traffic. Okay, and interface discloses and interface is away because it's connected to internet and in this situation you should go here and interface g zero zero and ip access group which access group it should be access group that we have configured here also we can write from here acl deny it should be same name that you have give uh, and it should be inbound or eastbound. It should be in inbound because PC1, PC2, PC3 should send packet to RT1 and RT1 gets these packets from PC1, PC2, PC3, but it's inter to RT1. And now you can write here inbound and also copy it. Apply access is to correct interface and in, in the correct direction. It's very, very important on, on which interface should be named uh, G01 and G00. And also, it's a uh, configuration command that we have configured and access website from server one. Okay, from server one, uh, from PC one, we should get access here, web browser. And what is the IP address of server one? This is IP address of server one. We cannot get access. And also here, we cannot get access from PC1. Uh, from PC1. You should use both HTTP HTTP protocols that we have configured and click on fast forward. And again, do show access list. You can see this size 16 matches and 27 matches. It will be added. Yes, because we have used um, this access list, and it means in, in this uh, this access list uh, have been configured. And uh, but what about for example PC2? For example, PC2 can get access to, also cannot, okay, access FTP of server 1 and server 2 using PC1, because username and password is Cisco. Under command, you can write here FTP. Uh, there is any uh, technical problem here, as you can see. I have configured, for example, deny TCP this command, deny TCP, which this IP address for PC1. But I don't know why here only that have been configured for 96, but what? Where is 96 here? I don't have write anything here, but I it is a technical problem about uh, this version of uh, um, packet tracer, and uh, we have configured all of the instructions here, but we, we cannot uh, uh, verify that because, as you can see, this is not match this IP address, for example, this IP address and this IP address. Also, I have written here, but it's not true. Um, maybe yes. 
maybe we can write anything here configure yes yes thank you for watching and uh, excuse me about the, the technical problem <laughs> from uh, um, in the uh, packet tracer yes Cisco should excuse but I, I also say excuse me about uh, this problem have a nice day and uh, please subscribe me and support me